Welcome back to Zeos Introduction. This is the 14th video in the series. You should be able to differentiate between vSAM and non-vSAM dataset types by the end of the short presentation. vSAM is very different from non-vSAM datasets, such as sequential and partition datasets. vSAM has four unique organizations for managing data records. While vSAM has superior performance, how vSAM datasets are defined, deleted, renamed, copied, printed, written to, and read from is different from non-vSAM. And how vSAM dataset attributes are listed is different from non-vSAM. A system utility, IDC, AMS, typically just called IDCAMS, is used to delete, define, rename, copy, print, and list vSAM dataset attributes. While the logical record with a defined record length is a basic unit of information in both vSAM and non-vSAM dataset types, how those logical records are managed is very different. vSAM has four separate techniques for managing logical records. The KSDS, Keyed Sequenced Dataset, then there's ESDS, Entry Sequence Dataset, and RRDS, Relative Record Dataset, and finally LDS, Linear Dataset. Another difference between vSAM and non-vSAM is that the vSAM physical dataset names are referenced using a vSAM cluster name. A vSAM cluster name is just a name associated with physical dataset names. An ESDS, RRDS, and LDS vSAM cluster name references a vSAM data component, which is the physical dataset name. However, a KSDS cluster name references at least two physical dataset names, the data component and the index component. A KSDS can optionally include a physical alternate index component that is referenced as part of the vSAM KSDS cluster, in addition to that primary index component. vSAM organization uses a control interval with a defined length for storing defined length records. vSAM KSDS ESDS and RRDS, the control intervals, CIs, are grouped into control areas, CAs. An exception is a vSAM LDS, the linear data set. A vSAM LDS is available for special data management formatting. Examples include DB2 and Unix file systems. An excellent IBM Red Book was written describing the vSAM basics in Chapter 1. The URL to download the IBM vSAM Demystified Red Book is shown below the picture of the Red Book. The ISPF dataset list utility is only useful for determining that a dataset is a vSAM dataset. Observe the top display showing zibm000.vsam with asterisk vsam asterisk in the volume column. The asterisk vsam asterisk indicates that zibm000.vsam is the cluster name and zibm000.vsam.data is the physical data set on disk volume VPWRKD, which is the cluster name data component. The bottom display is a shift right of the dataset list utility panel. Observe the attributes are nearly non-existent, except for VS in the DS org dataset organization column. A ListCat control statement processed by IDCAMS program is available to retrieve the attributes of a vSAM cluster name. Several observations to make. In the ListCat output shown is associations. Observe the only association is the data component, zos.vsam.data. 
Next, observe the AVG LREC-L average logical record length and the max LREC-L maximum logical record length. Given the average and maximum length is the same, the records are all the same length. Next, observe non-indexed is a listed attribute. When ZOS.VSAM cluster was defined, the non-indexed operand resulted in an ESDS entry sequence dataset assigned attribute. Next, observe the statistics section that includes details such as the record total, the records deleted, the records inserted, records updated, and records retrieved. While the ZOS Internet Library includes 35 manuals in the DFSMS bookshelf, I recommend the two manuals on the chart. IDCAMS functions are described in the ZOS DFSMS Access Method Services Commands Manual. A very good detailed explanation of vSAM is in Part 2 of the ZOS DFSMS Using Datasets Manual. In summary, you should be able to differentiate between vSAM and non-vSAM dataset types. Thank you for your time.